Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today we are undervolting our CPU. Before I start this video, just a quick reminder, please subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed yet, because we are trying to reach 1000 subscribers and until we do that, we won't receive any money or any monetization from YouTube on this channel. So any of your help will be much appreciated. Now, before we begin, what is under volting? So, every CPU receives a specific amount of voltage to it in order to work properly. So, as you can see in this program, and I'll explain in a moment what it is, I have the Intel Core i7-6500U. Now, this one is basically my Dell XPS 13 from 2016, and this is the CPU, I cannot change it, I cannot replace anything here, I can't even upgrade the memory. The only thing basically upgradable in this laptop is the SSD. So, I cannot do any upgrade. We cannot also overclock the CPU, if we would want to. And when you have two physical cores and four logical cores, and it's a U version processor, you would really love to overclock it. But that's not the case here, that's not why we are here today. Today we're doing under voltage. Now under voltage is basically finding that sort of amount of voltage that we can lower it. So the CPU still will work pretty much normally. It will get our temperature, as you can see here, less. And also you will see less thermal throttle. Now basically, sadly, on such CPU, you'll always get thermal throttle with Windows 10 and all the things that I'm running here. Uh, it's crazy, but we can do a little bit better, a little bit. So, first of all, uh, what we're going to do is explain what is this program. Now, this program is called Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, as you can see here. It's made by Intel. You don't need anything special for that, you don't need any special BIOS or anything. It will work almost on any computer that runs Intel CPU and Intel chipset. Basically, we can overclock with it, we can do much stuff with it, but today, the only thing that we are touching is under voltage. Now, before you do that yourself, please note, it's on your own risk and Everything that you'll do, it's on your own risk and I cannot be responsible for anything that you do. Sadly, this process isn't, you know, foolproof. But if we'll go to, for example, all controls, you know what, let's go to just the core so you'll see exactly what's going on. So, under the core, as you can see already, undervolted my CPU to minus 0 0.055 volts. It might sound very little, but actually it's very useful for that computer. So temperatures are a little bit lower, and sadly currently you cannot see that since I'm running a few programs in the background, and I'm also recording the screen, so uh, it's thermal throttling and it's on high temperature. And it's pretty much hot in my room, so that adds up. But basically what I did is got to here, the voltage offset, and set it to minus 0 0.055. Now, I can do more, I can actually go to 0 0.060 for sure, that one I checked, and maybe even a little bit lower, but if you'll go too much, you will actually crash the system. And this is why this program, Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, is very good. It's pretty much automatic, so basically it will always sort of run in the background. Uh, now, it won't require anything special, but if, for example, I'll lower it too much here and apply the settings and the system will crash, after the reboot, it will automatically revert back all the settings and we will be able to go back and do all the settings again or just leave it as it is. So that's really cool. Now, uh, we can play with our settings, you can actually do more voltage, for example, if you are crazy enough. Again, it's on your own responsibility, I cannot be responsible for anything you do. But the only thing that is really sort of safe, I would say, is getting the voltage here down. Now, again, as I said, this will not make the performance better, almost. It will cause less thermal throttle, which will actually increase a little bit of the performance and it will lower the temperature of your CPU. So, you might
might gain some performance advantage, but not too much. You will gain much more battery life from the trick rather than the performance. Anyway, as you can see, there are other options that you can play with. Again, I do not suggest to play with anything unless you are sure about what you are doing. Again, I know what I'm doing, and yet the only thing that I touch is this one. Seriously, I have no idea what is Process Core Ice Max. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not fully sure about the Turbo Boost Short Power Max and the Turbo Boost Power Time Window and all the other stuff. I do know that I do want the Turbo Max to be enabled. Basically, it bumps up the CPU a little bit higher when it needs in sometimes, but I'm not really sure if I can just go ahead and grab it to the full or something, so I'm not going to do that. The only thing that I'm touching again is the core voltage offset, and that's the only thing that I recommend that you'll touch as well. Now, another thing, after you touch this one, you should go to the stress test and do some stress test. Now, we're going to do here on the CPU, Basically, it's going to generate a load on as much as you'll tell it. Uh, you should run it about at least, I don't know, give it at least 25 minutes, because otherwise it's not good enough, trust me. Uh, anyway, if we'll go to core back, you change your settings. So, for example, let me, you know what, let's go ahead to uh, 0 0.060. And as you can see, we can apply. We can also save a profile if we want and we can discuss the changes. Uh, it's pretty much easy, you just press apply, wait a few seconds, and that's it. We are now on the new settings, and sadly you will not notice any difference here right now, but uh, for the long term I will notice a little bit less thermal throttle, a little bit less of temperature, and that's pretty much it. Longer battery is a set if we are checking that as well. So first of all, where do you download the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility? The Intel XTU as they call it in short. Obviously you download it from Intel. Now, obviously I'll give a link in the description of this video, but if you are not really sure about my link or if the link doesn't work, it, they might change it or something, you can basically just write Intel Extreme Tuning Utility in Google. Probably the first search that you'll find will be the Intel's download page from here. Basically, you download the EXE, it will run on Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10, at least currently. After you download, the install is pretty simple, you don't need to do anything. You will receive a few warnings when opening the app for the first time, but nothing else. Now, let's continue. So, I went now to my camera view, and we're going to do an experiment, just so you'll be more sure what I'm doing here. So we're going to grab and offset our voltage to minus 0.1.5. Now, uh, this will make the system uh, crash. At least that's what I did last time. But let's try. And as you can see, it's not crashing in the moment, or at least not yet. Uh, obviously, it's not thermal throttling. Now, I did close some apps just to, you know, just to maintain it a little bit longer. And this is the reason why you do want to go to the stress test and do that, at least for a couple of minutes. Because right now there is nothing to load, so you're not really sure about your CPU if it's in a good shape or not, if it's stable or not. So we're going to run that for let's say 20 minutes. Now, obviously, we're not going to wait any 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure that you'll see in about a moment that it will crash. So let's try the start test. And now, my mouse is not moving any anymore. And that's pretty much it. You should receive a blue screen. And no, we didn't even have a blue screen this time. And as you can see, the system is rebooting. Now, it should reboot into sort of safe mode since it crashed. It not always does that. It might load up normally already. But if it does, don't worry. Just continue with the restart. Just hit restart my PC. And that's pretty much it. It will load normally into the previous configuration. 
and after it loads we can launch the Intel Extreme Utility again and go ahead and change to something a little bit higher. So that's pretty much how you know how low can you go down. Basically you need to go a little bit of steps and then stress test it, another step, stress test it, another step and so on. Let me just log in a moment. You do need to launch the app manually. It will not start automatically. And this time when we start, if you'll read closely, uh, it gives you an error that it crashed and basically it resets the settings if it supports and obviously it does. So I click continue. And if we'll go right now to, again, to the core, obviously it will ask us if we agree. Yes, we do. And you can see that it resetted all the settings. So we are on zero again. So now we can play with it again and again and again until we'll reach something stable but low. And that will be a great thing for us since we're saving battery, we're less throttling and we are saving on temperature, which will obviously run fans less. It will also make less noise and you know, etc. Now again, this thing, also can work for graphics. You can go here and play with your graphics if you are on the onboard. And obviously if you have, as you've seen, as I have a locked CPU, which is not K, you can still play around with some settings. You don't even need to go to your BIOS, which is amazing that you don't need to do anything that is really hard. Now again, before I finish, let me remind you, you are doing this on your own at your own risk, at your own responsibility. Sadly, I cannot be responsible for any of your actions. Again, as I said, if you want to hear me, the only thing that you want to touch is going to the core and only touching this, the voltage offset and only go a little bit, don't go too high. Again, your results might vary according to the CPU you have, according to your motherboard, chipset, everything it's changeable for everyone, it's something else. Guys, before I finish this video, I have a few things to mention. First, YouTube has demonetized our channel for now, and the reason for that is that we don't have enough subscribers. So in order to get monetized on YouTube and receive money, etc., which I did for a while, you do need from now on to have at least 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time for the last 12 months, which we do have. So we do lack of about 140 subscribers or so. So if you're not subscribed yet, or if you know anyone that is interested in tech, security and everything what I do here on this channel, please let them know and ask them to subscribe as well. So they will be able to follow us and also help us to grow as well. Another thing before I go is Instagram. If you want, you can follow me now on Instagram. Yes, I did fall to that as well. Basically, I don't use it for the channel specifically, I just take some photos and share them there, uh, including Facebook and other platforms. Uh, so I do tend to share some cool pictures around, uh, just views, landscape. Uh, if I travel, I try to post more as well. Nothing specific to the channel or any tech related stuff. But I'll try also to post some notifications about new videos on the channel on Instagram. So keep in mind that you can follow me uh, on Instagram as well if you'd like. And now we can finally finish this video. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.